In Vegas, there's winners and losers. And God knows I've been both. From a dishwasher in Massachusetts to a culinary rock star with 80 different countries in his passport, and a blue belt in jujitsu, there will never be another story like Anthony Bourdain's. Bourdain took viewers on unforgettable culinary adventures, exploring the diverse flavors and cultures from around the planet. Today, we're exploring the life of Anthony Bourdain, a renowned chef, author, and TV personality whose passion for food and culture reshaped culinary and travel television. Born in 1956 in New York City, Bourdain developed an early fascination for unique culinary experiences, largely due to his family's adventurous eating habits. Ooh, glutinous rice, coconut, feels sort of testicular. Mm. His first encounter with an oyster during a family trip to France sparked his culinary obsession. He left Vassar College and attended the nearby Culinary Institute of America, working in various restaurants during his studies. Post-graduation in 1978, Bourdain ascended the ranks in New York City kitchens, starting as a line cook before reaching executive chef status. These experiences exposed him to the raw realities of the restaurant industry, profoundly influencing his unconventional culinary outlook. Come on, you've never cooked bacon while naked? <laughs> Come on. Bourdain first carved his niche in the Manhattan restaurant scene at the Rainbow Room, where he became a line cook. This iconic establishment introduced him to high quality ingredients and rigorous culinary standards, although he later confessed a dissatisfaction with the deceptive aspects of the industry. What bands do you hate? It's in the, uh, um, Creed. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> they are like the worst band <laughs> in the history of like, the world. Subsequent roles at the Supper Club and Brasserie Le Hall redefined his skills and culinary style. At Le Hall, his blend of traditional French techniques and innovative approaches earned him a reputation as an inventive chef and helped establish the bistro as a popular dining hotspot. Simultaneously, Bourdain's love for writing culminated in a series of articles for The New Yorker, recounting his restaurant experiences, solidifying his role as a compelling storyteller and influential culinary figure. I was in a cranky mood after my last restaurant closed and uh, felt no reason not to tell the truth about a business I both love and uh, have mixed emotions about. In 2000, he published Kitchen Confidential, Adventures in the Culinary Underbelly, a behind the scenes memoir about the world of professional cooking that was very raw. Raw like unfiltered, not raw like sushi, you get it. The book became an instant bestseller and catapulted Bourdain to fame beyond New York opening doors to new opportunities in both the culinary and entertainment worlds. Kitchen Confidential not only showcased Bourdain's exceptional writing talent, but it also highlighted his ability to capture the essence of the culinary world in a way that resonated with readers and food enthusiasts alike. These weren't the prim and proper writings of Julia Child, nor cold emotionalist recipe books. Bourdain had managed to create a whole new book genre. Through the vivid descriptions of his experiences in various kitchens, Bourdain offered a unique perspective on the dedication, perseverance, and passion required to succeed in the highly competitive restaurant industry. In 2002, Anthony Bourdain transitioned from chef to celebrity chef, starting with a cook's tour on the Food Network. It was a show that showcased global culinary adventures. This led to Anthony Bourdain No Reservations on the Travel Channel, where Bourdain explored the intersection of food and culture. In fact, this is a shining example to the world why France is a great country. In 2013, he launched Anthony Bourdain Parts Unknown on CNN, focusing more on the socio-political aspects of the places he visited while maintaining food at its core. Bourdain's TV career exemplifies his ability to foster understanding and connection between diverse cultures through food, earning critical acclaim and numerous awards. One of the defining aspects of Bourdain's approach to food was his emphasis on authenticity and local cuisine. He sought to experience food in its most genuine form, often venturing to off the beaten path locations, interacting with locals, and embracing the culinary practices of the places he visited. They, well, they put it in a hot soup. No, this is raw blood, really. Bourdain championed street food, hole in the wall eateries, and traditional home cooking showcasing dishes that were deeply rooted in the culture and history of a given region. He recognized that food is more than just sustenance. 
it's a form of communication and a reflection of a community's history, values, and identity. Closer to the ancient French tradition, vaguely more dangerous, downright medieval. Cajuns do things their way, always have, always will. Whether it's hanging on to the French language of their ancestors, their music, traditions, or food, Cajuns fiercely keep it all vibrantly alive. Bourdain's appreciation for diverse food cultures encourages viewers to broaden their own culinary horizons, to try new flavors and cooking techniques, and to develop a deeper understanding of the world through the lens of food. While his culinary career was success after uninterrupted success, Bourdain's personal life didn't always reflect that. Bourdain was married twice, first to Nancy Pitkowski in 1985, with whom he shared a 20-year marriage. He later married Octavia Buzia in 2007, and they have a daughter named Ariane, born the same year. He was an avid reader, often referencing literature and authors in his show and writing. Bourdain also had a love for music, particularly punk rock, which often served as the soundtrack to his many adventures. He practiced Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, a discipline he discovered later in life and credited with helping him maintain physical and mental well being while traveling extensively for work. Bourdain was also open about his struggles with mental health, including depression and past substance abuse. My, my sense of of rage and self-disgust and, and just, I'm not gonna say I had a mental or nervous breakdown, but I came close. He used his platform to advocate for mental health awareness and to challenge the stigma surrounding these issues. His candidness about his own experiences provided comfort and support to many who were facing similar challenges. Tragically, Bourdain's life came to an untimely end in 2018 when he took his own life while shooting an episode of his show in France. His passing serves as a stark reminder of the importance of mental health awareness and support for those who are struggling. Anthony Bourdain's unique approach to food and travel storytelling has left an indelible mark on the culinary world and the way that people experience and appreciate different cultures. He challenged conventional food programming by focusing on authentic, lesser known culinary traditions and highlighting the stories of the people behind the dishes. This approach inspired a new generation of chefs travelers, and food enthusiasts to explore the world with open minds and more importantly, open palates. His legacy lives on through his books, TV shows, and the countless stories and memories shared by those who knew him, worked with him, or were simply touched by his work, and it will continue to shape the culinary world and inspire a sense of adventure and discovery for generations to come. From humble beginnings to becoming a culinary icon, Anthony Bourdain's life was a remarkable journey of passion, exploration, and the pursuit of authentic experiences. Throughout his career, Bourdain worked in various restaurants, authored best-selling books, and created groundbreaking TV shows that captivated audiences worldwide. His fearless approach to food and travel storytelling revolutionized the way that people experience and appreciate global cuisine, and it played an instrumental role in promoting cultural understanding through food. I like the sound of the motorbikes. I don't want to eat this in a dining room with a, you know, chairs and a carpet. And you have to come here. As we celebrate the life and legacy of Anthony Bourdain, we invite you to continue exploring the world of food and culture with us here on the Taste Made YouTube channel. So be sure to subscribe, like, and share our videos as we continue to bring you captivating stories, mouth-watering recipes, and unforgettable culinary adventures. Together, let's honor Bourdain's memory by keeping a spirit of curiosity and adventure in our hearts. Cheers to the undisputed king of the culinary world, and thank you for watching Food History. Cheers. Thank Gentlemen, you. cheers. To the queen. No, I hate the aristocracy, man.